One thing I realized after I sold my restaurant, the biggest mistake after 10 years, and then it just came to me, was this, and I don't know if you've experienced this. I always was too naive and I would keep my employees, even though I knew they don't want to be there, they're, you know, it's not working out, but I just kept giving them chances, giving them chances. I believe that was one of the biggest mistakes I made because my restaurant never took off. My yeah. catering took off, right? Why did my catering take off? Because I was involved in it. I was doing yeah. everything so I could control everything. Then I would let go of my restaurant. I didn't have a good manager. I didn't have good employees. Like Gary V says, hire fast, fire faster. That's the mentality yeah. I didn't have. If I had that, I would have a great team with, with a manager running the restaurant and that would go up and my catering would go up and then life would be better. Do, are you dealing with that too? Do you feel like sometimes you need to let someone go, but you don't want to let them go because you're like, how am I going to find another person? Yeah, so I've had that before. I think I was struggling. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was struggling with it more a little bit before the pandemic as well as during the pandemic. Now it happens, but just having a different mindset towards it has helped. I mean, one of the things that I'm trying to currently work on is to systemize our business as much as possible. So one, our team can be trained, they can come in, they understand what is needed. Also, if if we need to fire quickly, we can fire quickly because it's easy to train someone else coming on board and make sure that the person coming on board understands the standard moving forward. So um, I can't say I am fully over that challenge, but I am much better um, dealing with it now than before.